Hello! Hi, senior. Near Automata. The last part, we met Android A2, which had gone a wowl. And. Um, we came down here and we died. I think that about covers everything that happened. Um, what's my objective? It's like vaguely here. Oh, that's not the run button. Okay, these ones seem interested in fighting. No. Right, that's not the dodge button. <laughs> just hitting B because I was just playing some God Eater. Isn't there a flashlight function? I think it automatically turns on when needed, actually. Alright, got him. Crushed nut is not a severed cable, so I'm not excited. We might need him eventually, but... It's not exciting. Okay, you cook left analog stick. That was the flashlight. One must, of course, be careful not to click both sticks because that's the self destruct button. Your combo. This is doing two things is not one button, it's, it's two. sap in this cave? Plant seed. So am I still going even vaguely the right way? This just looks like where I fought Adam and Eve. Well, there's some sort of objective through here. It's not the main objective, though. Okay, I had to actually select map mode. John Paul's melancholy. Okay. See, I've strayed from the main quest a bit, but I guess there's a side quest thing here. So I might as well get locked in 2D mode and not be able to actually go past the arena. Um, that's basically what I wanted to do, right? I guess it doesn't look like there's a door there, so it's probably up on the surface where that objective marker was. Do they start moving faster if you just, like, go in a direction for a while? Anyway, I think there was a fork just a bit ago. It's probably supposed to take the other direction. Yeah, here. Amber. Range defense up small. Oh. Right, there's this. It's not interactable still. Well, a uh, surprise everyone, I was grinding. All on purpose. Uh, because we've needed levels for a while, I, I, I just thought I would, I would kill some extra enemies. Okay, but seriously, where do I go? Is it up again? Oh, it totally is. So why did we come down here? I guess just because it was being jammed, and then it's like, oh yeah, we're done. Had I chose the correct side of the ladder, I guess it would have become quickly obvious. Uh, it's hard to jump over that lid. Can't you grab onto ledges, to be? Yeah, like that. Hmm, that's awkward. 
something might be shooting at me, but uh, I'm gonna ignore it. Probably one of those like snake enemies with the yellow section that I don't bother to take out for some reason. Well, because it's bothersome to try and take them out. Copper ore. Crystal. Can I can I take this cable? It's looking somewhat severed. Iron ore. Guess the water makes you slide. And we're going fast. I think this is still the right way, though. I'm connecting to the network now, apparently. Didn't realize I was disconnected. Oh, there's a warp point. <laughs> Surely this map information will enable me to, uh, actually get to the objective. Hmm. It's way over there now. Oh wait, this is where I am. Flooded city coast. So it looks like I just go south and then, like, over? Cutscening. I must have gone the right way. Flooded city. Okay. Twenty-two? Maybe I should, like, actually for real grind some. I guess... What? That was... Me needing to aim my sword strike to finish the sentence. Oh, there's a dude over there! Uh, how would you ever dodge that attack with the camera angles this game lets you have? I guess you could look upward, but... I don't know. It would be awkward in the middle of a larger fight. Anyway, we seem to have cleaned him up, and this is the way we were going. The bedrock here was bombed out in the last war. Looks like the whole city is starting to sink as a result. Strong bombs they've got there. I'm not going down for that money. Should we shoot the one that's actually on screen instead of forcing my camera over? Ow. Alright. Killing dudes with ranged attacks. Target missile sighted. Is that what we need to protect? It's a pretty big missile. 
Let's take him out already so I can be home in time for dinner and a bath. Androids don't need to bathe. As long as you perform regular cleaning and maintenance, bathing is unnecessary. Ow. Yeah, but come on, 2B. It still feels good. Does it? Now is clearly the time to strike while he's busy doing his laser hands. Oh, yeah, the finishing moves. Don't need to cut all the way through that life bar. Nope. Went for a finishing move, but it was too late. Dudes. Yeah, maybe I should let go of the lock on button and clean up the little guys. Yeah, because that's what happens when I try to lock on. It's like, uh, you want to target the thing that's, like, way off from the direction you're facing, right? Kind of want him over land when he dies, but... Okay. I think that's the last of the machines. Range to tack up. Consider. 9S, oh. come in. Commander? Emergency orders incoming. The carrier ship that was sent to resupply has come under attack. It's currently being engaged by a swarm of machines. I've asked all your troops in the city ruins for assistance, and I'll need you to provide backup as well. I'm sending flight units and coordinates now. Good luck. Out. All right, another flight segment. Um, but I was starting to say, I feel like the way I've been playing ranged attack is total slave driver. Whoops. If she didn't order others around, what kind of leader would she be? Hmm. If you say so. Uh, ranged attack seems like the more valuable of the two attacks. Because at least in a pinch, I'm always using ranged attacks. It's, it feels like, anyway. It probably even affects these segments. I mean, sure, you have the melee attack. It's actually really good at clearing out destructible bullets while you're still shooting forward, even though you're spinning. Mysteriously. Even through transformation. Whoa, I was getting health. Something was actually taking a hit. Perspective change, sure. Ready? Has heavy attack always looked like some sort of defensive move, I guess? It's light attack that does the sword swing. Yeah, you said that. I guess that's why they said they repeat. Alright. 
so far. If it matters, I don't believe we've let an enemy escape. Guess it's EXP. Oh, hey. <laughs> Speaking of getting EXP... Yeah, this segment could afford to be a little more interesting. <laughs> oh! Ruler of the skies! I've defeated 255 enemy inbound. units. Looks to be 2.8 clicks southwest of us. That's probably one of the few achievements that can actually pop up in the middle of something actually happening. Thus making the mod actually kind of bad. Just in that one instance. So you can't lock on in flight segments. Uh, let's maybe not be in front of that. Yeah, I can't keep shooting at him while I'm dodging. So you've got some really short range circle shots going along the sides there. And also the missiles keep getting destroyed instantly. I wonder if this fight is glitched. Could be a result of the modding. Oh boy. The fact that he can rotate as he's doing that laser thing though is still kind of intimidating. Alright, yeah, let's, let's see if we can speed this up by going as far forward as we can and attacking a little. Should actually help us dodge the giant laser too, because we can uh, do sudden rotations more easily. I'm just gonna stop shooting for a bit. Okay, yeah, my sword's not even reaching. Let's maybe back up, because apparently the missiles can get me if I'm up there. Don't need to back up all the way though, because it does help to dodge the laser to be a little closer. I feel like this fight has gone on long enough for what it is. Ah, okay. Like, even if it had been fully working. Reverting back to area Wait, I'm still picking up a large enemy presence. That was a long repetitive thing. If it's that big, we should be able to see it. I guess I am like eight levels under it. Maybe leveling up would help. Oh, rest in peace, boat. We tried. Well, that's new. We gonna fight it? Is that a machine? It's freaking huge. Blocking close range attacks with the MP blasts. We've got to find another way to damage it. I mean, I don't have many options here. 2B, Command is attempting to launch a satellite laser strike on your target, but the enemy's electromagnetic camouflage is making it impossible to aim. We need you to find the emitter and take it out. Oh, is that all? I know, I know, but it's the only way. Oh. EMP generator target confirmed. Marking on map. Proposal. Destroy the generator quickly. Sure. Why not? I wonder. Hmm. I don't think I'm actually permitted to use items during these segments. Oh. Except I can still pull up the quick menu. Yep, it works. I decided even though I was wasting some of the recovery, I was willing to 
to pay the cost okay. of the experiment. The only known record of this machine life form is a lone sighting 320 years ago. Upon reaching land, the unit unleashed a devastating electromagnetic wave attack. All resistance fighters in the vicinity were annihilated. So basically, if this thing reaches land, we're screwed. Affirmative. Yeah, had to turn towards the missiles and then I got caught by a normal shot. I guess maybe swinging my weapon around would have worked. Especially because you can still keep shooting. There's never a reason to let go of the shot button. Unless you're trying to like not attract attention and you're not in combat. I think due to the foreground background considerations, I'm only actually capable of hitting whatever's on the top or bottom. Ow. Okay, yeah, I can just angle up. I'm not stealing life off of these. Those have been dying when they've been at half health. Kinda weird. If only there was a way to lock your shooting direction. Like, holding the lock-on button that does nothing. Yeah, this segment's alright, but... It's kind of annoying that I can't do things that it feels like should be possible. <laughs> like, we could do that in Gunstar Heroes. I think. Or was that of the lock-in place and aim variety? We could do it in Gunstar Superheroes anyway. On the GBA. Oh, it's got an electromagnetic barrier over its whole body. <laughs> Having trouble over there? Not really. Are you Yorha? Hunter Squadron deploying out of North 12C Defense HQ. I'm the Commanding Officer 4B. Don't worry, we'll take it from here. To be. Let's leave this area to the reinforcements. I have an idea. Damn. You and I should meet up at the spot I just marked. We've got mortars lining the shoreline here. All the EMP shielding in the world won't help against close-range mortar fire. Got it. Okay. I'll help in. Okay, what are we aiming for? Or should I just be tapping right bumper? Too thick. We need more firepower. 2B, let's try for a more direct approach. Direct? Oh, right. That's right. Lay down some fire in its stupid mouth. Uh, was it really? 
the aim there? I guess it was moving as I was trying to wait for the aiming to work out. Oh. Okay, I'm surprised that went in. But I was like, oh, I'll just hit it. It takes a bit to open it back up again anyway, and the charging up is instant. Like, it had a charging that said 100%, but it never said anything other than 100%. <laughs> yes, a charging. A charge amount indicator, if I want to, like, speak more properly. To me! We gotta bail, 2B! This is bad! Didn't expect that. That enormous machine is an ancient weapon. It was designed to help annihilate the androids, but it wound up going out of control. I was part of the machine's network when it happened, so I remember it. The moment it reached land, it went berserk and began attacking everything in sight. No one could figure out how to stop it. They eventually marooned it deep in the ocean. But it seems to be searching for a way back. Huh. No. No. Hey, 2B, I think I have another idea. You keep that thing right where it is, okay? What? I've been trying to avoid shooting Pascal. I don't think it matters. <laughs> oh, you're really just cut scening while I'm surrounded? Yeah, you can't shoot Pascal. I'm going to see if we can use those missiles back on the shore. But I need you to destroy the EMP unit on that thing's back. Otherwise, they're just going to go off course. On. Yeah, I mean, we were originally going to try to deliver the missiles, but... I think they're best used here anyway. Yeah, remember to... Oh, my bang IO isn't ready. Apparently that's the name of the super attack now. Alright. Couldn't super attack. I wasn't sure if I needed to stop firing before I was allowed to activate it. Swing the sword around, you just don't even need to dodge lesser bullets. Oh, he's angling. Nice. Does the sword even deal damage in this phase? Yes, okay. Just curious. Didn't want to keep tapping it if it wasn't doing anything. Unless they were incoming bullets, of course, because it blocks those. So it's still weird that the life bars aren't even accurate, like in the slightest. These things die at half HP. I noticed on the previous phase with one of these, but... So uh, yeah, here we have some good shoot-em-up design where I uh, do nothing and mash attack buttons. Actually, can I just hold the attack button? No, you do have to keep mashing it. Well, you can you can hold the shoot button, but I need to keep tapping the sword button. Not really mashing because you don't have to do it fast, but you know you gotta keep hitting it. I had musical staffs around me for a moment. In Rainbow. Or something. Do 
dudes. Yeah, I was a surprise to see Bangayo at a GDQ. I'd seen it before on Dreamcast. Well, of course I saw it on Dreamcast. What else would I say gonna see it on? But I watched my brother play it. <laughs> Way back in the day when Dreamcast was a current gen console. It did indeed look impossible. I don't know how far he was, but at some point it started looking impossible. Can we just not super- oh yeah, there it is. The super- the Bangayo special. Alright, so we've got another of these things that have been so exciting to fight. Who knows, maybe this one will surprise me with a new attack. Like, is that metal gonna, like, do something that keeps, like, coming on screen? Or is it just, like, some other part of the robot that just, like, is like, hey, I wanna be on camera? He's not even angling the laser anymore. These are actually getting more pathetic. Oh, am I close enough for the melee attack to hit? I want to make sure this doesn't take any longer than necessary. Uh, I can't attack right now. Alright, at least the phase seems to last a shorter duration if you can't actually possibly hit the boss. Got him! Oh, time until missile impact. There's a countdown, but I can't move, so I clearly don't need to do anything. S signal lost. Can't believe we're dead. Organize a search and rescue party for the missing Yorha members at once! Tubi. 9S. Don't die on me. Too late, we're dead. That's the end of the game. <laughs> no, clearly not. That'd be a really weird ending. Just like, yeah. That's it. You killed one robot. Which had no plot relevance at all. It just showed up. Never mind the Adam and Eve thing. I guess we could segue into like playing 2A or something and like retrieve uh, 2B's parts or chips and weapons. 2B to bunker. Come in. Over. Operator to. 2B? 2B, are you alright? Running system diagnostics. Uh, her health Core is full. Functionality appears intact. Thank goodness. Never mind that. I need a status report. Roger that. How do we? In regards to the giant machine that attacked the shore. Get out it of here. It's resistance eight hours ago following your missile strike. Eight hours? However, its EMP strikes knocked out comms all across the region. We're having trouble getting them back online. Which all means right. data uploading is currently Platforming. unavailable in some areas. Where's 9S? Um, yeah, about that. Oh, rip. We picked up a faint black box reading, but it wasn't strong enough to lock down his position. If you found something, that means he must be alive. Put in a request to the commander for immediate approval to begin a search. Actually, the commander has already ordered us to prioritize tracking down surviving Yorha members. If you find 9S, 
Let me know. Okay. Is Nina not a Yorha member? Hi, I need you to scan for any nearby black box signals. Scanning complete. No signals detected. However, a dynamic scanner is required for detection of weaker signals. Never heard of it. Said dynamic scanner may be located in the resistance camp. Proposal. Further information should be obtained from the resistance leader. Let's go. Hmm. This guy staggers easily. Probably because he's primarily a ranged attacker. Oh! Ow! Or he's perfectly capable of defeating us as long as he decides to melee occasionally. Looking at 36 minutes, so next save point I should probably quit. Hey, level up. We like those. Man, that shooter section just dragged on. I don't really like shooter mini games. Well, we're out of the platforming segment, which is definitely tougher to do backwards, but it's a fair challenge. I liked it. Although, I don't actually know what would have happened had I fallen into the water. I was kind of assuming instant death, which was making it interesting, but uh, it might not have been so dire. I don't know, have I ever fallen off an area before in this game? Anyway, here's where we're gonna save. So, uh... Wait, is saving not unlocked? It's not. Why not? I can quick save. Oh, now I said saving possible. Okay. Sure. But, uh, yeah, that'll be it for this part. In the next part, I guess we're looking for a scanner, then we're looking for 9S again. See ya!